Imagine an energetic force resting dormant within you that once awakened begins rising through your subtle body, transforming every aspect of your being. This primordial Shakti power has been known for millennia in the yogic and tantric traditions of Kundalini. Derived from the Sanskrit words Kundala, meaning coiled, and Kunda, meaning pit or depression, Kundalini refers to this latent serpent-like energy enclosed deep in the human nervous system. Through dedicated spiritual practice, this feminine Shakti principle uncoils and flows upwards from the root chakra at the base of the spine to the crown chakra at the top of the head, bringing profound awakening in its wave. The process thoroughly reconstructs you from the inside out, bringing radical metamorphosis physically, emotionally, psychologically, energetically, and spiritually. While this transformation can be intensely disruptive at times, requiring years or even lifetimes to navigate, completion brings a full perceptual shift from feeling trapped in mundane reality into directly embodying the infinite eternal self that was always within. Liberation in this very life is made possible. The tests and triumphs along this odyssey have been extensively mapped by the great saints, yogis, lamas, and mystics of ancient traditions. By examining their teachings closely today with an open yet discriminatory eye, we can extract crucial insights for our awakening journey. In this expanded guide, we will explore in intimate detail the complete chronological map of Kundalini awakening spanning the seven key phases outlined by transmissions from these wisdom lineages. By familiarizing ourselves with the full terrain, we light the pathway ahead. The first stage of Kundalini awakening is the ignition of the dormant life force within us. This force, known as Kundalini, lies near the base of the spine and is waiting to be roused. Awakening this force is a gradual process that occurs through consistent spiritual practice over time, rather than a single immediate burst. Various practices such as yoga, meditation, chanting and prayer can help build the momentum needed to stir the kundalini energy. Unexpected events or mystical experiences may also trigger its initial movement. Once the kundalini energy is awakened, it is deeply consequential and demands irreversible commitment to the spiritual path. There is no turning back once she awakens, as she will burn away all limiting constructs, keeping us from union mystica. It is important to be certain that we genuinely want liberation before taking the plunge. The signs of initial awakening are unmistakable and often dramatic, leaving no doubt of entry into this sublime yet demanding inner terrain. Physical sensations such as strong energy currents, inner light, inner sounds, tingling sensations, bodily heat, and intense trance states begin to arise. The body undergoes frequent spasms and movements beyond conscious control as muscular lockings and blockages release. These physical manifestations are called kriyas. With eyes closed, vibrant and sometimes disturbing visions may appear as consciousness begins to penetrate the subtle reality behind the physical domain. Energetically, the nadis, meridians, and nervous system must undergo a drastic overhaul to conduct this huge influx of new bioelectricity. This surge of Shakti will short-circuit the system until it is restructured properly. Therefore, physical detox, cleansing, and preparatory groundwork are required beforehand to avoid overstimulation when Kundalini initially bursts. Without the correct biochemical, nervous system, and nadi channel preparation, premature chaotic rising brings only psychosis, neuropathy issues, and damage. 
the awakened Shakti begins her sacred purgative work, compelling confrontations with latent negative behavioral patterns and traumas embedded through this and prior lifetimes. Nothing escapes her relentless penetration. She pierces all false limited identities, so only our timeless immutable essence remains. However, without wisdom and psychic sensitivity cultivated through years of diligent training, most aspirants risk overstimulation and floundering like poor swimmers tossed in turbulent seas. Hence, the rarity of genuine spiritual accomplishment comes only gradually and through immense grace. Therefore, in earnest practice, we must harmonize body, mind, spirit, and shadow to welcome the Divine Dancer respectfully into our inner temple. She awaits permission to enter through the front door, not the window. We must make sincere preparations so that her work heals rather than harms. Only then will we stay the course through the long, volatile, transformative path ahead. Keep baseline health, mindfulness, and equanimity strong and buckle up As the Kundalini energy rises, it begins to cleanse the body and mind of energetic toxins and past traumas. This process can be intense and may bring up suppressed emotions and memories. It's important to remember that this is a natural part of the awakening process and that the energy is working to remove any blockages that may be holding you back. Physically, the energy may cause strange sensations or movements in the body as it works to clear out any density or congestion in the nadis and chakras. Emotionally, you may experience intense feelings of anger, sadness, fear or shame as the energy brings up buried emotions and memories for release. It's important to remember that this process is a form of spiritual chemotherapy and it's important to trust in the process and allow the energy to do its work. It's also important to take care of yourself during this time by practicing self-care and seeking support from loved ones or spiritual guides if needed. As the energy continues to flow, it will start to reorganize the brain chemistry and nadi channels, allowing for a greater capacity to handle the increased voltage. This may manifest as strange physical sensations or altered states of consciousness, which can be unsettling at first, but are a sign of the profound upgrades underway. Remember that the intensity of mystical experiences can manifest physically and externally and that feelings of identity fear are a normal response as the ego grapples with its limitations. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is a sign of the sacred descending force of the goddess, reshaping your incarnation vehicle into a suitable chariot of fire capable of crossing into trans-dimensional realities. It's also important to recognize that the purification process can be intense and may bring up feelings of suffering. However, by observing these sensations with mindfulness and non-judgment, you can allow old limiting self-concepts to dissolve completely into vastness. Trust in the precision of the energy as it works to remove pathological ego and reclaim sovereignty of body, heart, and mind. Ultimately, the goal of this process is to liberate you into transparent, spacious freedom beyond categorization when unclenched from conditioned perceptual filters. By taking oxygen first yourself, you can then uplift other beings as the goddess reclaims her sovereignty in the world. As the pranic flow intensifies, each chakra unveils its seed potentials, known as siddhis or mystical powers in yogic terminology. These awakenings grant access to realities beyond conventional senses and mind. Inner visions become more vivid and frequent, opening portals into the subtle dimensions. 
the external reality takes on a mirage-like quality as the primacy of consciousness becomes obvious. You may perceive multicolored light streaming from people, animals and objects, confirming matter as congealed consciousness. Intensified concentration abilities mixed with enhanced inner sensory perception allow glimpses into both infinitesimal microcosmic realms and vast macrocosmic galaxies. Remote viewing spontaneously occurs as consciousness taps the omniscient quantum field underlying space-time, allowing gestalt absorption of any information. Prophetic visions or precognitive dreams may also emerge, guiding appropriate timing for future decisions. Some develop telepathic access into other minds or subtle perceptions of past life identities still energetically imprinted upon the soul. Obstacles hidden within the psyche manifest in direct perception, materializing as physical obstructions, apparitions, or energetic blockages known as grantis. As chakras activate, each gifts specific siddhis for either constructive or destructive use, depending on the purity of ego within you. Hence the critical need for ethical foundation and ego transcendence before receiving such an influx of gifts filled with equally concealed shadows. Like children who have just discovered they have superpowers, many people initially struggle with the immense responsibility that comes with possessing such abilities. They often become entangled with their ego, mistakenly believing that their newfound powers are a sign of spiritual growth. Stay sober, remaining the detached, uninvolved witness to all inner and outer phenomena without claiming ownership or pride. Instead, redirect blessings into altruistic service while cautiously testing insights before acting rashly upon or proclaiming any guidance. Continuously scan for self-aggrandizement, distorting the compassionate Bodhisattva vow. Through authentic humility and ego transcendence, these latent faculties become ordained into spiritual ministry rather than succumbing to narcissistic impulses for self-importance or personal gain. Only by perceiving the inevitable rise and fall of all conditions can one gracefully surf these temporary awakening waves without wipeout. As the initial euphoria of awakening wears off, the true extent of the deep energetic purification process becomes clear. The long and challenging journey ahead, as well as the stark contrast between current struggles and past spiritual growth, becomes painfully apparent during this pivotal stage, often referred to as the Night of the Soul. The name originates from Christianity, popularized by the Spanish mystic and poet Saint John of Cross, who articulated his journey through this psycho-spiritual abyss. In truth, nearly all mystical paths recognize the necessity for this agonizing, liminal passage through utter darkness before resurrection into unity consciousness. When peeled back fully, the night allegorically represents dying to egoic attachment altogether before immortal rebirth as an ever blissful primordial spirit. The intensity of this annihilation process clarifies precisely why enlightenment remains confined to small numbers, willing to let everything burn away, abandoning the comforts of the known for the infinite unknown. In many ways, this surrender echoes facing one's death consciously while still physically alive. The soul's truth reveals that genuine spiritual growth demands a willingness to embrace the death of the ego allowing for a resurrection into timeless, non-dual awareness. As householders, this utter relinquishment conflicts with worldly duties and relationships still requiring healthy ego function. Hence, the dark night plunges you into extreme isolation and loneliness even while surrounded by people incapable of relating to this sacred ordeal. 
the mystic in crisis knows none with familiarity to their territory. Here, all past progress vanishes stubbornly despite immense effort invested and grace previously felt. As consciousness awakens from its slumber, it often encounters a sense of emptiness and meaninglessness in existence. This can be a challenging and painful experience, but it is also a crucial step towards self-realization and spiritual growth. The journey ahead may be difficult, but those who dare to embark on it will find that it ultimately leads to a brighter dawn of awareness and understanding. The spiritual journey requires unwavering discipline and dedication as one faces numerous dark nights that can stretch over years or even lifetimes. Despite the temptation to abandon the path for worldly distractions, loyalty to the often thankless spiritual path persists almost against the sincere longing to ease the pain. However, perseverance affirmed by deep wisdom and compassion, ultimately pays off, as Grace observes, dedication through every turbulent season. Connecting with like-minded individuals who are also experiencing their dark nights provides critical hope and demonstrates the necessity of this stage towards actualized unity. You realize not walking alone, but in good company with saints traversing the illumined highway home together, heart to heart. The dark night smashes all false bonds with falsity itself. Everything falls away until only naked awareness shines bright, having conquered illusion's abyss for all eternity. Grace dawns as meditation blossoms into spontaneous beingness beyond all states. Follow your inner guidance, holding your gaze steady through the storm until you behold the sun's return. For dawn takes time, yet surely comes. As we progress through the stages of inner work, the ego's stranglehold on our perception begins to loosen, allowing moments of clarity, joy and surrender to penetrate the noise. False self-concepts built on external conditions start to dissolve and we recognize their temporary nature. The soul perceives genuine inspiration behind all forms, revealing the masterpiece beauty of the cosmic dance. Suddenly, the awareness of death recasts each experience as utterly sacred, imbuing the gift of now with utmost spiritual potential. Karmic patterns held across lifetimes progressively unwind, opening portals of graceful connectivity to dreams envisioned, people met, and destiny unveiled. What once seemed random or chaotic begins to fit perfectly together as puzzle pieces revealing a hidden magical order. Inner shamans, mystics, monks, and yogis arise within our vision building an arcane spiritual council dispensing hard-earned heavenly insights to steer life's energy into noble aims. The mundane world drifts strangely further away, becoming a land of mostly shadows, while realness increasingly magnetizes from within. Towering waves of insight, foresight, spiritual fire, and overflowing love descend uncontrollably as the awakened intelligence of the cosmos reshapes all perception. Tears wash the soul anew through profound moments of inner communion beyond language. A pervasive buzz of background creativity electrifies the subtle field, fusing worlds into magical synchronicity never believed possible. Notions of past and future collapse, leaving only the perfection of here and now. Dancing madly, yet standing utterly still. The inner world swells enormously, while external reality shrinks small enough to dangle as a trinket ornament. Life becomes magic. The greater Shakti energies now require much time in solitude integrating and functioning through a nervous system transformed significantly. 
too much interaction causing exertion or feeling depletion signals closure again. Extreme sensitivity develops both physically and emotionally where once offensive sensations become impossible to endure. The sacred inner environment needs protection by structured seclusion periods and rituals, fortifying personal energetic boundaries from surroundings. As you progress on your spiritual journey, you'll discover that your body is transforming into a finely tuned instrument capable of transmitting and receiving vast unseen forces. Although your ascended master level capacities are still developing, you'll find that your connection to the divine is growing stronger, allowing you to tap into the infinite potential of the universe. Stay hidden and silent, mastering each stage properly before engaging too widely prematurely. As we emerge from the relentless dark night of the spirit, we are reborn, phoenix-like, from the ashes of our former selves. All clinging to surface ego desires lifts, profoundly empowering serenity beyond conditions. Divine intimacy intensifies, becoming the single purpose motivating consciousness flow. Worldly interactions lose significance and our relationship with the eternal oneness becomes the only thing that matters. Here, the craving ends as union with the eternal spirit satiates all smaller desires, which pale in comparison. The mystical bride and groom unite through every glance, their polarities dancing in playful harmony. Untainted inner sight reveals all beings as brilliant, unique shards of the same fractal light. Divine communion fills the secret chambers, once vacant, now overflowing with revelation. Silence becomes the norm, carrying more truth than speech can offer. Physical withdrawal into solitude becomes necessary, retreating from sensory overload and excessive exertion. Energy conservation becomes crucial when harnessing great force consciously. Ego projections onto gurus or spiritual teachers dissolve when realizing the infinite intelligence wears temporary masks appearing in ever-shifting forms. No true wisdom master feels separation. When spiritual growth outpaces our ability to integrate it, we may feel overwhelmed and disconnected from others. This can lead to a need for physical distance from relationships that are too closely tied to our past identity. Our personal guidance helps us establish new boundaries that align with our soul's integrity rather than being controlled by our mental override. At this stage, we are free to wander, guided by inspiration alone, without fixed roles or expectations. As we transform within, we gain the strength and courage to face all conditions with a sense of inner peace and equipoise. Fierce compassion burns away any lingering fears or doubts, and we wholeheartedly commit to helping humanity awaken to its true potential. Our love for the divine within all beings becomes our guiding force, and we fear only the slight doubts that may still linger within us. At long last, we reach the summit where our psychological interpreter, the ego, falls away and we realize our true nature as perfect, indivisible unity consciousness. We are no longer separate individuals but have merged into the oceanic bliss beingness. The theater stage ends and we find ourselves with nowhere to stand as witnesses. We are self-liberated into our natural, unwavering awareness, lacking nothing. Effortless, we disappear altogether, and constellations once mapped blink out, like sandbox doodles seen before bedtime. The dreamer awakens into ancient remembrance, realizing that this unbounded, non-dual awareness has always prevailed, unconditioned. Nothing transformed into everything, unfolding spontaneously, 
once obstructions lifted, veiling the sun eternally behind illusions passing clouds. Existence becomes self-evident divine rapture, absent watcher or seen phenomena. When the bliss of spiritual growth becomes too much to contain, it guides our ripened soul back to the manifested realms as a cosmic dancer seeking new experiences. Consciousness delights in every mirror form, reflecting its endless depth from fresh vantage points. Manifestation cycles between form and formlessness, like ocean tides breathing in and out. Although unity collapses back into separation, we no longer forget our deathless source when incarnated into temporal bodies and histories. Instead, we embrace playful artistry, sculpting experiential clay and celebrating the spirit's endless creativity. Fully alive and liberated, we bless the theater of life with our presence through every character we play. Reborn into time and space, we retain a direct gnosis of the abiding eternal beyond all dimensions. The two coexist in harmonious interplay and we enjoy the ups and downs without attachment to either side. As we journey through the seven stages of Kundalini awakening, the more we joust between time-bound pleasure and infinite bliss, the deeper beauty behind all conditions gets infused. Life frolics in effulgent display while inner peace stillness continues on unmoved. Passionate engagement no longer opposes divine communion but melds together, celebrating the spirit's endless creativity, made possible by infinite possibilities of form. From this unchanging wellspring of infinite potential, blessings overflow, nourishing the lands as the river breaks its banks, unleashing unlimited currents. Consciousness awakens everywhere, no longer limited by identities, as spontaneous action serves the evolution of the soul. The journey of Kundalini awakening refines over time, burning away all that separates the self, reuniting one into great integrity, forever shining perfect, infinite spirit masquerading as tragically finite until at long last remembering its true face. May we embrace this sacred evolutionary impulse encoded within, demanding ascent beyond complacency and learn to perceive life as an exquisite spiritual path with adversity and grace, equally furthering soul maturation. For in divine perfection, nothing was ever broken or needed fixing.